All right. Now let's see this in action. And the first thing is to understand the data that we will provide to chat GPT. We have this housing data set where we have certain important parameters like the location, the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, square foot area, and finally the sales price. What I will do is copy this data set and then move on to the OpenAI website and share this data with ChatGPT. In the OpenAI website, you have the option to try and this will open up the window where you can have a conversation with ChatGPT. Now, Let's quickly also understand the interface of chat GPT. You have the options to create new chats by clicking on new chat or you can start typing in here directly. Also, there are options to go back to any previous conversations you have done with chat GPT and you can even clear those conversations. You can switch the mode from dark to light. You can go ahead and use the OpenAI Discord server to see what's the discussion happening around ChatGPT and other OpenAI tools. And then we have updates and frequently asked questions. And finally, you can even log out and log in using some another account in ChatGPT. Towards the right, we have certain examples how to use this tool. There are the capabilities. And then we have certain limitations of ChatGPT that you must be aware of. <clears throat> so, Let's now enter the data set that we have already copied and what I will ask ChatGPT is use, okay, use this data set to generate a summary statistics, visualizations and insights. I have misspelled statistics, which is fine. And of course, over here. And then I press enter or I use the button. <clears throat> what Chat GPT does is use this data sets and provide you with a lot of relevant information. It gives you all those summary statistics and some important insights that you will really appreciate you know being given by a bot now as you can see we have uh, certain summaries that are coming up we have the mean number of bedrooms bathrooms mean square foot mean sales price you it gives you ideas of creating some visualizations it doesn't give you visualizations but gives you ideas and also gives you some amazing insights you know uh, the most expensive house, the cheapest house, the smallest house, the average number of bedrooms, the relationship between square foot and sales price is positively correlated. Pretty cool. Now, how you can actually use it further is ask questions like how you would ask any other person. For example, what is the average sales price in the above? data set and then it will give you a response like how you would expect any person to respond to you so you have the answer already let's ask some more questions how to generate a bar chart of showing the distribution of sales price uh, by sales price by number of bedrooms and then it will give you an entire step-by-step -step process how to generate the bar chart and this will also give you how you could do this using python's matplotlib library it can even give you how to do this using r it gives you more information than you expect it to give and that's why chat gpt is so amazing now we will do something more so you have all of this information you can uh, you have the actual python code and all you have to do is copy this code open your favorite python editor maybe vs code or <clears throat> any 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 editor that you use 
and just copy and paste and simply you will get the response. This would create a bar chart where x-axis shows the number of bedrooms, y-axis shows the sales price and each bar represents a house and the height of the bar represents the sales price of that house. You can use this code snippet as a reference and you can use any software as well to generate your chart. So this is pretty cool. What, what else can we ask? Uh, let's ask uh, what is the top most expensive uh, neighborhood in this data set. And then it will tell you which is the most expensive is Venice. So let's confirm if I go back to the data set, I have mentioned that Venice has a sales price of this and it is the most expensive and it's it's quite easy to uh, be understandable. Let's ask something more complex. Let me ask chat GPT what factors seems to be uh, the most significant predictors of housing prices in this data set. So we want to know which factors are the most important in predicting the housing prices. So <clears throat> what chat GPT does is it predicts that this is having the most impact on the housing or the sales prices then it has given a response that the number of bedrooms and the square foot is the higher uh, is the most important factor for a higher sales price and it gives an example it also gives you some another insights that location can also be a significant predictor and of course it's worth noting that this is a small data set and other factors such as the age of house nearby amenities condition of the property etc um, overall real estate market it does help but it is providing very valid and accurate responses in the data set that we have provided to chat gpt so summarizingly we can see that chat gpt can assist data scientists in data exploration by providing natural language description of the data set generating summary statistics identifying patterns and trends in the data and suggesting hypothesis for further analysis. Additionally, ChatGPT can also be used to generate visualizations of the data such as charts and plots to help make the information more easily and understandable. It's, it's clear that it will not give you the actual chart but will give you the code or the process to create that chart. It can also be used to generate reports, documents or other form of written communication that can help disseminate the results of the analysis to a broader audience. And it is all happening in a fraction of a second and you can actually converse with chat GPT just like you would do to any human. We will see more examples of the power of chat GPT but in this lecture we have understood how to use chat GPT for data exploration and help all the data scientists to understand some insights very quickly that you would do using any software and this is chat GPT doing it for you very quickly. Great, let's move on to the next video and thank you for this one.